All right, so from the performance, it's Thursday, Tech Thursday, and we have quite an interesting topic this morning. We're focusing on creating your own brand and social identity on a budget. Now for that, we have Ayo Dotun Akinfenwa now. She is a brand and marketing communications consultant, a corporate trainer, and CEO of a Lifestyle Hughes Brand Consulting. It's Thank great to have you. You, you are Thank welcome. You. Thank you so much. Okay, <laughs> now for the purpose of clarification, mm -hmm. I know, you see, brand is, or branding is something you know, people have different Absolutely. definitions of, right? Mm -hmm. So, to you, what is, what do you mean by branding and a, um, a social identity? What do you mean by that? Okay, so I like to run away from the textbook definitions. Mm -hmm. I like to just mm -hmm. go straight to the um, simple definitions. So I, I have like one that. I coined. I like um, that. So branding, your brand is the word on the streets about you. So what are people saying about you? What simple description or what words can they use to describe you? What comes to mind when they think of you? What comes so to mind when someone one, one thinks of you? I, I, that is the most layman um, definition I've heard. <laughs> and yes, I agree with you on that one. What people think about when it comes to you. Now, um, it's something that a lot of people invest in. Tell you, you know, we've, we've, we've had courses. People talk about how important branding is. Mm -hmm. People spend millions, you know, to go to train and learn how to brand and all of that. Mm -hmm. But you're talking about doing that, uh, creating that image on a budget. Absolutely. How can one do that? There are different ways. Now, um, in the course of running my business, I've worked with various clients with different budgets, especially with the COVID, the pandemic, and a lot of other things. People are they are running what we call lean budgets. How mm. much more the SMEs that we encounter and we consult for from time to time. So there are different ways to do that. Um, the beauty of this season is that digital media has, has become a some kind of leveler for everybody. For everybody, so very sure. Everybody can get on board. There was a time when it was mostly traditional media. You had to be able to spend millions to be on a billboard or to have a uh, shoot a TV. None of that these days. Yes, all of that is still in place, but digital media has made it so easy. Social media. Hmm. But that's the obvious example. That's the obvious hmm. channel most people use. But email marketing, Google My Business, there's so many tech tools to use these days. There's so many tech tools. Even digital PR, there's a lot of online media right now that you can get on board on as a personal brand, as a small brand, or as a brand, maybe a medium-sized business that is trying to watch your marketing budget. So there's hmm. a lot to do online that you can do yeah hmm. so okay much. so let's let's, let, let's break it down for a beginner somebody okay. who maybe has not done so much when it comes to the tech space and all mm -hmm. of that mm -hmm. what are which which of these tools can you start with easily can you get into well i mean yes of course a lot of us are on social media even if we're not doing it for personal branding we're just there to just see what's happening but a lot of tools across for example if you're going to be on on social media, you need to have content. You're going to be on any of the other channels I mentioned. You have to have content. So there are a lot of content creation and publishing tools. Hmm. So, I mean, I have a personal favorite I always talk about, um, Canva. Okay. It's a platform that originally started as a design tool. Hmm. But these days, it has become something I use to integrate with a lot of other things like email, channels, publishing. It's integrated with HubSpot. It's in integrated with a lot of other tech tools. It so is, that's a typical yes. option. Um, there are some other design tools like Over, Designer. There are so simple tools for your mobile. For like your mobile. That InShot, exactly. like Snapseed to edit pictures. For example, a lot of people are in the space where they're selling their products, physical products. I want some kind of products that you have some kind of aesthetic to it. So simple tools. A lot of those tools also come as freemiums. Okay. Premium in that you can get on board, use the free basic features basic of that feature platform. Of that and, should, feature, yes, yeah. and should you need more, you, you can, can pay yeah, for you it. You can pay for it. And usually those things are maybe ten dollars, twenty dollars per month. They're not so expensive. You know, thirty nine dollars, yeah? you know, things like that. So they're not <laughs> Yeah, so you know, now what level extreme. of proficiency do you need to use some of these tools? Let's 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 focus on say Canva. Okay. You know, people will think that you need some sort of uh, design background to be able to use Canva quite well. Even though it does help, you know, when mm -hmm. you understand how to mix and match colors, when you mm -hmm. understand how to complement colors, mm -hmm. you know. But what's the basic level? basic level of uh, you know proficiency you need to use a tool like Canva? Honestly, Canva is, was created for non-designers oh. originally. So the feature is it's a drag and drop scenario. Hmm. So there's a lot of templates there for you. Not only templates for design, but templates for content. So for example, you're the kind of person who's blank, you want to create material to go on Facebook, on Instagram, or you even want to create a document like a pitch deck for a business plan. For, for a pitch or proposal to clients, things like that. So all of that is there for the layman. For the layman. You can learn, you can teach yourself. I taught myself, as someone who has, I mean, I have designers, I have staff writers on my, on my payroll. payroll. Yeah. I still use it. You still use so it. So how much of people that don't have that, a lot of small businesses, you know, owners that start a loan, 
you don't necessarily need anything. All you need is a willingness to learn. To learn. Obviously, there are some programs that can help you, you know, learn faster. You can take a, a training. I have some trainings that I put in place. You can, you, can, you can take a training. There are lots of videos on YouTube, but you can teach yourself. I taught myself, and then you practice, it gets better. Wonderful. And, of course, you don't have to be a designer. You don't necessarily have to be a huge writer. Or mm. huge, on your, so detailed. You can learn. There's a lot of content inspiration on that platform. Well, just start by yes, downloading yes. the app, and it's a yes. what you see is what you get kind of platform. Absolutely. Mobile app, desktop um, usage desktop as well. Wonderful. So really Thank good. you very much. Thank you very yes. much. It was good having Thank you this you. morning. Thank and you. Uh, let's hope that uh, you were able to catch up something there. Mm -hmm. And, of course, you can go out there mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, engage with these apps and grow your personal brand and social identity. That's all on tech for this Thursday morning. We'll take this time out now. Uh, there's still a little bit more to come of our final guest in the house. Stay with us.